Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture, and today we're going over Charlie CX, or Charlie XCX's third album, Charlie. So this is one of the albums I've been actually waiting to hear from. I've seen all the like, she's been like shitting out like singles after singles after singles after singles, and it's been pretty exciting to kind of see. So I've like. Place like the biggest one I was the biggest one I thought was gonna be the single was Focus, and then Girls uh, Girls Night Out was like a thing, and then she kind of switched. I think twice now she kind of switched it or like her sound around as it went on, and so we got like at least I think I want to say like the tops of three sections of singles, you know, because it started off with like uh, what was the very first one like Focus and something like that. So I thought she was coming out with the EP. I didn't know she actually coming out with the actual album. So it's pretty cool. Um, I have a lot of favorites in this like album. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a really good album and a more of a process of her direction, like her being her and always bringing to the table something different that no one else is really doing is kind of cool. And I love how she, and I, I want to, I feel like maybe she produces this, she must have, like, I honestly feel like she must produce some of this stuff because it feels, it feels very personal. A lot of the songs feels very, like, personally, like, handpicked and everything in the best way, so I really love that. Um, one of my top favorite songs I, I love is, um, is 99, or 1999, featuring Troy, or Troy, blah, 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 Troy Savon. So, I love Troy Savon, I love their song, their, like, sound together is really nice. Um, I think the whole album is very futuri futuristic, very weird, uh, cutoffs of parts, like, like, sometimes, like, the song, like, sometimes the verses will go very clean, and then they'll, like, He'll mu she'll like muffle some parts of it, or she'll have like the production go very loud in some of the parts, which is sometimes works for sometimes it sometimes it works for that purpose, and sometimes it doesn't work because it kind of feels like because then I can't really hear what's going on. Like for example, the Shake It featuring Big Frida, P Cupcake, Pablo v uh, Vatar, and um, Brooke. Brooke Candy, which I love Brooke like, Candy, I know that they've worked together a couple times as well. Um, I couldn't really hear Pablo much. I, like, I knew what she, I knew what she was saying, because I had the little lyrics and everything going down, but, like, there was parts of it where, it where the production came in, and I was like, oh shit, I don't really know what's happening. Um, but that was one of, that's one of my favorite songs, though. Even with that said, it's one of my favorite songs, like, having Cupcake in it, or start, hell, starting it off with Big Frida was Amazing, like Big Frida always gets the party going. Like she, any song you just drop her in, she's like Big Frida, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, I'm here, you know. And the perfect song for Shake It, she's she is the queen of bounce, you know. Um, Cupcake, love Cupcake. She knows how, like, uh, she just like she's pretty much my new kind of like freaky listening to like something freaky about like. My pussy smells like, tastes like pineapple or, or Snapple in this case. Um, and I just I don't know. I, I love how, like, fr how, like, she just kind of goes, the way that she goes in, her rapping and, uh, Brooke Candy's rapping, insane. Insane. They, they, they both kind of just went in and killed it. And every single person killed it. Every single person. Like, that's a great, that has to be one of my favorite songs off the album, is that because it's just, like, every single feature, everybody got their own little part, including Charlie. And it just didn't, it didn't feel like the, um, like the Ed Sheeran's album, the collaboration out project. It didn't feel like it was like, oh, here's a shit ton of other people. Don't you like them? You love them. Like, they actually were in there for a purpose. A lot of the songs, like, they're in there for a purpose. Um, one of my other songs that kind of grew, it's kind of growing. Well, let me tell you my tops. So my tops have to be, um, Shake It, of course. Um, I some reason I really really like um Silver Cross official um Click is growing on me, Gone is growing on me, and that's pretty much it. Like the other ones are good. I just feel I had to go into more detail about them. They're kinda like eh <clears throat> and more of the fact that I just didn't really they didn't really didn't really get come at you, you know. 
Oh, another one that's growing at me is uh, 2019, 2019, or 99. I feel it was uh, Troy Sivan. That's another one, which is kind of cool that she goes from 1999 to 2099 with them kind of say like, oh, we're here, we're talking about the past, and now we're like talking about the future. And it's really cool. And I just saw the, recently saw the um, music video for 2019, or 99, which was really cool, especially with the whole like, they're in jet skis and, Troy is doing the flips backwards and everything, which I'm sure it's a stunt double, but any like that was pretty cool having her like slow motion and she's barely touching the the um handles and just like laying back and she's like doing her singing and everything. He's just flipping in a back behind her. It's like it's very artistically beautiful. Um I'm very happy to see that uh Kim Petras is with with her on click is really really good it's really really good once again another song that they just go hard into like kim kim comes in and just goes in hard and then tommy comes in hard like it's just like everybody is immediately go like there's no holding back at all um cross you was kind of okay i didn't really get sky's um fiera um Part entirely like she got her own section but I felt like it was I felt like they sound so similar in some ways they kind of forget that like oh wait no no she's there's they're two different people but the harmonies can them could together worked really well I loved I've okay sorry so let me even back up I do go, gone is growing on me which is featuring Christine and the Queens just I've gone I've come to really really love her I think she's amazing um and I love the music video. The music video was amazing. Ah, I love the chemistry between them. They really look like they're having a lot of fun. And that was that was something I really into. Um, I really love this album. It's a good long it's a good decently big album, like fifteen songs long. It's a really good album. I think I would I think this is a great example of doing a album with features. I think this is a great lesson to look at this album and say, like, this is how you do features. If you're gonna do an album full of features, at least make sure they have their space, have your, make sure you're not being drawn out, uh, drowned out, and, and also everybody else is there for a purpose. And the production's great. Tommy Cash, I don't know who he is, but I'm definitely invested in him because he just went hard, super hard on it. And I know there's some parts, there, some of the songs like February 2017 and um, how was it? Official, and also White Mess or uh, Mercedes. Mercedes was another one. I was talking about his her on and off relationship with uh Huck Kwan Kwong, uh oh, Wong. I think the case probably saw it Wong. Um, which is they were together from 2012 to 2015, and then got back to uh then they broke up after 15, and they got back together late 2018, early 2019. And so, but she, apparently she must have broken his heart and she definitely feels bad about it, but it's really, it's a really interesting, like, to know more about that as I was reading it and getting some more information. So, all in all, it's a really, really good album. I'm really impressed with it. It's a nice whole, full, whole album. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10. I just think I really love, I really praise this album for the production and for the way that she that Charlie placed everybody, the features in it. I just think it was a very, very stellar example of what you need, of how to set, how to do a feature, you know? So comment below, tell me what you thought. If you, um, what was your favorite songs? Was your, uh, what were your least favorite songs? Um, how did you feel like the, PR, the features on it? I know I'm missing out a couple people like, um, I am and Lizzo. I feel like those songs are kind of okay, but weren't really the biggest like standouts. But it was great to see them inside there. Uh, oh, and also uh, Cle or Claro and Yerji. So Yaji. So hopefully, yeah, I really like them, but I just felt like those songs didn't really stand out. But the song, the album is really, really, really good, and I still give it an eight out of ten. And anyway, so I hope everybody has a great week. And I'll see you guys in the next video.